Hello, my name is Dr. Ingrid Maida, author, art historian, and dress detective. In this video about my latest book, Reading Fashion and Art, I'd like to talk about artists and wardrobes. When an artist undertakes a portrait, they typically have an opinion as to what they want their sitters to wear. They may have a preference for a certain level of formality or type of dress and ask their sitters to wear something that may or may not be in their regular wardrobe. For this reason, it is important to exercise some caution in reading a work of art. For example, we know that some artists like Thomas Gainsborough preferred his sitters to wear modern fashionable dress, while others like Joshua Reynolds wanted his sitters to wear styles of dress that emulated classical ideals. Another 18th century artist that aimed to emulate the classical ideal was Elizabeth Benier Lebrun. Perhaps this is the reason that she presented her portrait of Marie Antoinette wearing an informal dress at the 1783 Salon in Paris. This portrait caused an enormous scandal with critics reporting that the queen had been painted in her underwear. The artist was asked to withdraw the work from the Salon and replaced it with another portrait. This example, which introduces my book, underlines the powerful role that clothing plays in communicating or defying societal conventions. Unraveling the role of fashion in a work of art is complex. Even with the invention of photography in the 19th century, it can be difficult to assess whether the garments worn by a sitter are representative of their actual wardrobe, since many photo studios rented clothing for such occasions. As well, savvy photographers in the 19th century issued booklets with guidance on what to wear and what colors and patterns to avoid. Given that colors like blue, green, red, and purple would appear as dark toned clothing in black and white photographs, one might easily come to the conclusion that the 19th century was drab and dull when in fact extant clothing tells us otherwise. All these caveats lead us to a very important point when looking at an artwork. An artist makes choices in deciding how to fashion the body and what messages they hope to convey with their work. In order to fully appreciate the narratives of culture embedded in the figurative work of any artist, it is important to search for the clues that help us reveal those choices. And that is what my book is about. Reading Fashion and Art is available from the Bloomsbury website. You may also order the book from Amazon or your local bookstore if you prefer. Thanks so much for listening. I really hope you enjoy the book.